Hi guys, welcome. I've designed this yoga practice uh, in order to have a nice, full, well-rounded, overall, comprehensive practice according to what I like to do at home. Um, I've segmented all of the the individual practices according to what you really need energetically. So the first half will be more about getting grounded and just centering and grounding down. And the latter is a little bit more about building heat and strength and fire in your practice if you feel like you need more energy. Uh, and then the last half is more of a restorative kind of practice. That's just when you want to wind down or if you just want to customize that or de-stress. And then lastly, we'll be ending with a few little meditations just to kind of center yourself before ending your day. So you can do this as a full practice, uh, start to finish, or you can do them individually according to what you need. So you can start off by finding a comfortable seat. Uh, I do recommend grabbing a yoga block if possible, or if not, if you're at home, you can use couch pillows or bed pillows for that. But just elevate your seat so that your hips are above your knee level so that you can comfortably sit up tall so you're not in any way rounding forward. And once you find a comfortable seat, then just allow your eyes to close. So we're going to start off our practice today with a little bit of a pranayama practice just to get everything uh, the mind centered and the breath aligned before we get moving. You can use this practice first thing in the morning or you can take it any time that you just want a nice easy flow. So as you're sitting up tall with the eyes closed, just allow your shoulders to roll and relax down your back. Think of shifting all of the attention for a moment onto your breathing. You don't have to alter or change the breath in any way, but just observe what part of the body is filling up with your inhalation and what part of the body is relaxing and softening with your exhalation. And just take your next few moments here just observing the quality of your breath. Again, you don't have to change it in any way, but you're just creating a nice space here for observation of what's going on internally. And then at this moment you can start to deepen your breathing. So think of inhaling and sending your breath towards the base of the rib cage, the base of the lungs, towards the diaphragm, so filling up deeply. And as you exhale you just grow taller. Your shoulders can soften down your back and you feel almost a little bit lighter. And just a few more breaths like that. You inhale all the way down towards the base of your spine. You're filling up the depths of the rib cage. And as you exhale, you just grow taller, lighter, and the spine can lengthen. Just creating a nice, long, deep quality of breath. In and out of the nose. And then you can gently open your eyes and we're going to just set up for a pranayama practice. So you can have your left palm facing up on your thigh. Connect your first finger and your thumb. This is called Dhyana Mudra. Your right hand, you're going to bring the first two fingers, the peace sign fingers together at the base of the thumb. This is called Vishnu Mudra. We'll be alternating the breath using the right thumb for the right nostril and the left, uh, the right ring finger for the left nostril. So once you have the hands, you can close your eyes again and let your shoulders just roll down your back. We're just going to take a slow, full breath in through the nose and a full breath out. Now using your right thumb, block off your right nostril and inhale only through the left. And then close both nostrils and exhale only through the right. Inhale through the right. Close both nostrils. And then exhale only through the left. So you're just passing the breath one nostril back and forth. Inhale through the left. And hold, retain the breath. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. and retain, 
exhale through the left. So continue this on your own just for another minute, inhaling through one side, holding the breath. If you're comfortable, you can hold the breath for as long as you'd like, and then exhaling through the other. When you exhale, think of exhaling completely, almost as if you're trying to empty out every last bit of air through the lungs. Then your next inhale becomes a little bit more full, and maybe you can hold the breath even longer. And again, you exhale through the alternate nostril. So just continue this cycle on your own just for about a minute. I'll let you know once we're coming towards a close. The eyes stay closed. The gaze behind the eyes is steadied at one point in the center of the forehead. And the breath is ideally even. The inhale is even to your exhale. Each retention is even to each other. So you have about a minute left here. You can continue this for another cycle or two. Whenever you are done exhaling through your left, then just release the hands and come back to your natural breath. So again, continue, don't interrupt the cycles. But whenever you've completed an exhalation through your left nostril, then release your hands, close your eyes, and just take a moment to observe if there's any change in your breath. You might even just notice just a calmer state of mind now that the breath has been equalized through both sides of the nostrils. And just take one more full breath in here. And full breath out. And then gently open your eyes. So we're going to begin in child's pose. So when you're ready, you can move your stuff to the side and you're going to find a really nice, easy, comfortable child's pose. The knees will be nice and wide apart, your big toes touching, and you're going to allow the arms to stretch forward. Just allow your forehead to rest on the mat. And think of allowing your hips to relax towards your heels. And once you're here, make sure that your elbows are soft towards the ground so you're not stretching the arms forward, but they're just relaxed. And then just to start, you can rock out the forehead just nice and easy, rolling it out just to relax your neck. Try to keep the shoulders soft. And then you can gently roll the hips side to side a little bit just to relax and ease your lower back. And then start to settle into your child's pose there. So think of letting all the weight of the pelvis just soften down towards your feet. And come back to your breathing there. As you inhale, think of filling and expanding the rib cage. And as you exhale, you let that soften. Inhale, you fill up the entire rib cage. Think of filling up even your lower back with your breath. And exhale, you let that go. Inhaling, filling up the entire spine, each vertebra lifts. And exhaling, you let the entire body just soften even further. Just a few more rounds of breath like this on your own. Just thinking of taking your deepest breaths that you have so far all day. If you'd like a nice gentle shoulder stretch, you can have your palms slipping up. I'm just taking a few more breaths here. A little bit of a deeper shoulder stretch would be to interlace your fingers, walk your elbows in towards one another, and then let the knuckles reach back towards the head. And we'll just take three more breaths wherever you are in your child's pose. And feel free at this moment just to set an intention 
for your practice. It might just be to stay grounded and centered in your breath. Or maybe something just a little bit different, more personal to what you have going on in your day. And just take one more full breath in there. And full breath out. Now begin to stretch the arms forward and spread your fingers. Take an inhale and let's come forward to a tabletop. So bring your shoulders over your wrists and your knees under your hips as you exhale. Now take a look at your hands. Make sure that all the knuckles are rooting down firmly. And then when you're ready, you can tuck your toes and we're gonna push right up and back to downward facing dog. So as you press back, just take a moment to warm up for your first few breaths. You can bend one knee, turn it in, and then switch, bend the other knee, turn it in. Just take a few moments there just to ease into your downward dog. Especially if you're taking this practice first thing in the morning, you might notice that the backs of the legs <laughs> aren't as friendly <laughs> when you first wake up. So just take another round of breath there just to kind of ease into stretching the legs and thighs back. And then we're just going to start a little bit of Ujjayi breath there. So take a full breath in through your nose. And then through your mouth, take a nice easy exhale out. And do that again. Take a slow, full breath in. And through your mouth, nice H-A sound. And then sealing your lips, take a full breath in. Through your nose, take a long exhale out. Creating almost that oceanic sound. One more full breath in there. And full breath out. And then start to bend your knees. And let's walk to the front of the mat. You're going to land with your feet hips distance apart. You can always check by putting your two fists in between your feet. And then place your fingers on your shins and take a halfway lift on your inhale. Try to create a nice flat back and try to look forward as if you could see your own reflection in a mirror. And then exhale, just fold over your legs. Keep a soft bend in your knees to start. And we're just gonna catch opposite elbows in front of us for ragdoll. Now with your head and neck totally heavy, feel free to sway side to side. This should feel really good on your upper back, back and forth, letting your head and neck totally relax as you do this. And if you have balance, I recommend just closing your eyes and kind of just letting your body do its thing, just feeling out the light bit of stretching that happens when you sway in each direction. Maybe even shift the weight from the backs of the feet to the front towards the balls of the feet. And just notice how that affects your spine. And then stay here in your fold and gently interlace your fingers behind your back. It could be a loose grip and slowly stretch your knuckles forward. Let your head and neck relax. Keep the knees nice, nice and softly bent there. And again, just drop the head. And again, you might even want to close your eyes there. Shake out the head and neck. Take another breath there. And then gently release your arms. Let's take another halfway lift on your inhale. So hands to shins, look forward, flat back. And then exhale, fold back down. And then bend the knees, let's plant the hands, step back to a plank pose. So first time, take an inhale, your shoulders are right over your wrists, you're hugging your belly in. And then exhale, push back, downward facing dog. And we're just gonna cycle through that three times. Inhale, roll forward to plank, so round the spine forward, shoulders over wrists, you can look forward if you'd like. And then exhale, push back, downward facing dog, dropping the head and neck. Again, inhale, roll forward into plank pose. And exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Last time, using your breath, inhale, come forward to plank. And exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Take a nice, easy, slow, full breath in there. And a full breath out. Now first time, let's inhale, reach the right leg up towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, you can open your hip, bend your knee, and just take a breath here. You can take any movements you like with the leg, the foot, or the ankle, just to kind of ease into your day. Now inhale, lengthen the leg, and then square off your hips, and exhale, bring your knee to your nose. 
Inhale, stretch the leg up high. And then exhale, knee to your nose and let's step right in between your hands. You can always use your hand to ankle to bring it there. Come on to fingertips. Look forward on your inhale. Think of letting your hips get nice and low. Back leg is straight. And then exhale, start to straighten your front leg and fold forehead to shin just for a moment. You could keep a bend in the knee. Inhale, rebend your front knee and look forward and up. Exhale, start to straighten your front leg and fold again. Inhale, bending the knee, stretching your chest forward. And exhale, straightening your front leg and folding. And just take one breath here, deep breath in and deep breath out. Now inhale, rebend your front knee and let's plant the left hand. We're gonna take a twist. As you exhale, reach your right arm up and then look at your top thumb. Take a slow, full breath in there. Deep breath out. Inhaling. Exhale, two. And on your last one, reach the arm forward. Palm spins down, inhale. And exhale, three. Now inhale, plant your hand. Let's come to down dog split again. Reach the right leg all the way up and back. And then exhale, step your foot outside of your right hand. Release your back knee and foot to the ground. So it's like a nice, easy lizard pose. And if this is a lot, stay right on your hands. If you feel like you'd like to come down onto elbows or blocks, feel free. We'll just take a few breaths here. And you're thinking of rolling the left hip down and forward so that the back pinky toe is on the floor. It's almost like you're putting all the weight to the front of the left hip so that the right hip can also get a nice opening there. Take one more breath here. And come back onto your hands. And let's step back to downward facing dog. Okay, reach your left leg up on your inhale. And then when you're ready, you can open your hip and bend your knee as you exhale. Take a breath here, any movements you'd like with the leg, whatever comes organically to you if you'd like. And then inhale, lengthen your leg, square off your hips. And then exhale, bring your knee to your nose, using a little bit of core strength there. Inhale, stretch the leg up and back. And then exhale, knee to your nose and step right in between your hands. Come onto your fingertips there. Just look forward as you inhale, keep the back leg nice and long. Exhale, start to straighten your front leg and fold. Again, inhale, rebend your front knee, looking forward. It's creating movement there. Exhale, straighten the front leg and fold. Again, inhale, rebend your front knee. Look up and exhale, straighten the leg and fold. And we'll be here for one breath. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Now inhale, rebend your front knee and let's plant the right hand firmly. And then as you exhale, we'll take a twist there. Reach your left arm up and look at your thumb. Three breaths, deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhaling. Exhale, two. Take one more breath there, deep breath in. Keep twisting as you exhale. And then plant your hand. Inhale, let's come back to down dog split. Reach your left leg up nice and high. And then exhale, step your foot outside of your left hand. Now release your back knee and foot to the ground. So we're in a nice early lizard pose. You can stay right here on your hands or you can come down onto elbows. And we'll take a few breaths. You're letting the right hip roll forward and down so the back pinky toe is on the ground. And all the weight is heavy and down into the front of the hips. Take one more breath there. And then start to come on up onto your hands and let's step back to downward facing dog. Feet are hips distance apart, hands are shoulder distance apart. Inhale, come forward to a plank pose. And now exhale, tap your knees to the ground Look forward and lower all the way to the belly, keeping your elbows by your sides as you lower. Take a cobra there, so point your feet, inhale, start to curl up. And exhale, roll back down. Forehead to mat. Again, cobra, inhale, curl up. Squeeze the elbows back. Exhale, roll back down. Now clasp your hands behind your back. Start to straighten the arms and then inhale, lift your chest. 
Let's take three breaths here, like Cobra, except the hands are interlaced. One, find a little bit of space behind your neck. Full breath in. Exhale. Two, deep breath in. Maybe you lift a little higher. And exhale, three, release down. Plant your hands. Take one more Cobra, inhale, curl up. And then child's pose. Let's press back, separate your knees, seat to heels. Rest here for a moment. And then come forward to a tabletop on your inhale. So shoulders over wrists. Now as you exhale, you're going to push the mat away, round your spine, tuck the chin under. Inhale, arch your back, stretch the chest forward and look upwards. Exhale, round your spine, push the floor away, tuck the chin. Two more, inhale, arching, looking up, opening the collarbones. Exhale, rounding, pushing the floor away, using your ujjayi breath. One more, inhale, arching. And exhale, rounding. Good, inhale, come back to neutral, tuck your toes, and then exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Bend your knees and let's walk to the front of the mat, maybe two or three steps this time. Inhale, take a halfway lift, and exhale, fold over your legs. Bend your knees, tuck your chin, slowly inhale, roll up to stand. And then exhale, roll your shoulders down your back. You're gonna start with the palms facing forward and wiggle your feet together to touch. As you inhale, circle your arms up and gaze up. As you exhale, fold over your legs, forehead to your shins. You can keep the knees bent if you'd like. Inhale, take a flat back, halfway lift and look forward. Exhale, fold back down. Let's step to plank pose on the inhale. So plant your hands. And then exhale, let's tap the knees and lower all the way to the belly. Take a cobra there, point your feet. Inhale, curl up as deep as you'd like. Tuck your toes, push your seat to your heels, press back downward dog as you exhale. Three breaths, deep breath in. Exhale, think navel to spine. Inhaling. Exhale. Two, take one more full breath in. Exhale. Three, bend the knees, look forward, step or lightly hop to the front. Halfway lift, inhale, look forward and lengthen. Exhale, fold over your legs, forehead to your shins. Inhale, circle your arms up, come to stand, gaze up at your thumbs, and exhale, bring your hands in prayer at your heart. We'll take just one more round of sun A. Inhale, circle your arms up, gaze up. Exhale, forward fold, dive, forehead to your shins. Inhale, lengthen halfway, look forward. As you exhale, plant hands, step back, and then lower all the way to the ground. Take a cobra there, point your feet, inhale, curl up. Downward dog, exhale, push back. Just one breath here, deep breath in. And exhale. Bend knees, look forward, step or jump. Halfway lift, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, circle your arms up, come to stand, gaze up. Exhale, hands in prayer at your heart. And then find a chair pose, sit low, inhale. Take your hands in prayer, let's twist to the right as you exhale. You're gonna hook your elbow outside of your thigh, gaze up, just three breaths. As you exhale, you draw the navel in to spin the ribs up more, one. Two. Three, good, come back to center, inhale. Arms come up, hands in prayer, twist to your left as you exhale. And just notice both sides might feel a little bit different. Then gaze up past your top shoulder. One. Two, think of spinning the chest up so your thumbs are right in the center. Three, good, come back to chair, inhale and dive down, forward fold, exhale. Take a halfway lift on your inhale. And let's step back to downward dog. 
on the exhale. Good inhale, roll to plank pose. Exhale, lower all the way to the ground. This time, clasp hands behind your back. Zip your legs together. When you're ready, inhale, lift everything up. This is locust pose, we'll take three breaths. One, feet together, big toes touch. Two, one more full breath in. And exhale, lower three. Plant your hands, child's pose, push back. And just take one more breath here. Now roll up so you're sitting on your heels. And then just sit to one side and swing your legs around to the front. From here, you can scooch forward onto your mat and then butterfly your legs. So soles of the feet together, knees apart. Taking a hold of your feet. Take an inhale and think of rolling to the front of the pelvis. And then when you're ready, exhale, you can fold over your legs. Maybe it's forehead towards your feet or maybe towards the mat. Just five breaths here. And if you're pretty far away from the ground, you can even use one of your blocks under your forehead as a nice way just to relax the neck, whichever way you choose. Two more breaths, nice and easy there. And slowly come on up, bring your knees together, and then we're going to lay down onto our backs. Let your legs just lay apart, let your palms face up, and we'll come right into Shavasana there. So your eyes are closed, the shoulders are relaxed, the arms are just nice and softly away from the body, the palms are face up so that the shoulders can just rest. The toes splay apart so that the hips can just rest. And think of inhaling to fill up your belly. And exhaling to let the belly fall. Just a few rounds like that. Inhale to fill up the belly. Exhale to let it fall. Just on your own, nice and simple. And at this point, just allow your breath to totally relax. You don't have to do a thing at all physically. No effort is needed. Just keep all of the attention on your breathing, just like when we first started class. Begin to deepen your breath there. Send your inhale into your fingers, your toes. Feel free to take any light, gentle movements. Just to gently re-energize your body. Let's bring the legs together. Point your feet and then slowly inhale. Stretch your arms all the way up and back behind you just like a yawn in the morning. And then exhale, softly bend your knees and hug them into your chest. Then roll to one side and press yourself up. Find a comfortable seat. You can use one of those blocks that you started with. 
and allow your eyes to close there. You'll place your palms facing down on your lap for more grounding or facing up for more energy. And you don't have to change a thing, but just observe the change in your mental state. Observe the change in the quality of your breath, the ease in your breathing. And the effect that that has on your energy. And in gratitude for this practice and taking time out for yourself, for your day. Bring your hands together in prayer. Lift your chest. Bow your head. Let's take one final full breath in there. And full breath out. Namaste.